how they have a public mini library in the train station. It's so cool. It says it's sponsored by the Oakland Public Library over here. It's pretty cool. Like, I wish we had this back home. They have this book called The Slave Dancer. I think I'm going to read it for today. Again, the eldest child is the resident navigator. Who? Me. That's right. Where will this, these people be without me, huh? Where will Asian families be without their eldest children? I wonder. This is my family that I have to lead all by myself. This is us. This is them. So what would you guys do without me, may I ask? Oh my god, nothing. You can say on the middle of the street, in the middle of the street. Oh, sure. $100. Okay, we're gonna cross. Oh, that's a lot. Thank you. Turn right toward Gizmo Street. Papa, how are you? I'm not good. I'm not good? Why? The best view is here. <laughs> I'm pretending to be okay, <laughs> but I'm not. By the grace of God, shades will come. Shades will come. We found it. Goddamn. Reliable older sisters in an Asian household. Raise your hands. Found the best cookies ever. Mom, I'm eating my cookie. I think I just garden, found the best. In my garden, the best cookies ever. No lie. This is so good. It's me again, and this time I have the map. Wow. It's probably like less than 18 degrees. Maybe it's around 15 degrees. But this is what I'm wearing. And I don't, like I'm not freezing. I feel great. 
My skin is pale white and ice cold. Mm, mama, it's so good. Mm -hmm. What is this called again? Paired burrata. And something paired burrata. Poached paired burrata. It's so good. Ah, 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 ah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Taco. Bon appetit. Mmm. So now it's freezing. Um, we are currently in San Luis Obispo. If that wasn't obvious already, and this was actually not in our itinerary. But my Tito Robert recommended it, and I love it here. It's so quiet and quaint. They close stores at 9 p.m. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, and it's freezing. It's probably already around like 12, 13 degrees. Um, but we're walking back to our hotel because we're calling it a night and tomorrow we're headed to Hearst Castle. Uh, yeah. No problem. No problem. So let me just provide you the flight information. Okay. This will be on July 26, mm -hmm. 2022, 10.40 a.m. That's right. Finally arriving in Seattle, Tacoma International Airport at 12.38 p.m. Okay. okay. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Sorry, I, I didn't catch your name. Ram? My name is Rams, R-A-M-S. Rams. Thank you so much, Rams. Kelly, uh, I'll be sending you an email confirmation yes. regarding your notes. Okay, we'll be waiting. Mm -hmm. Thank bye you so much. Bye. Have a good one. Bye bye. Go Rams! I love really nice customer service people. I bet he was Pinoy. He sounded Pinoy, right? I bet he was Pinoy. Go Rams! Just heard mass in this beautiful church, uh, missionary church of San Luis Obispo. And you know what's interesting? Something that you see always when you travel is like little new quirks in a different country or in a different town. They have different traditions for the same things that you do. Okay, so you know how um, when we say peace be with you during the mass, we say it like in the Philippines. We're like, peace be with you. And we just look at each other and we kind of like nod. And then in Korea, I found out when I went to mass there, people bow like, peace be with you, peace be with you and everything. So do the people in Singapore. That's what they do as well. But in America, they don't bow. They raise their hands, kind of like a peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. I don't know, it was just something interesting that I learned today. I kind of want to see how people do the sign of peace in different countries like in different churches that would be super super interesting so yeah because every time we travel we make it a point to go to mass in the place where we're at fun fun fun
I'm gonna attempt to go down there with my sandals and my dress. So, um, let's go. This is, uh, okay. My shoes are white, but whatever. We need to get near the ocean. Oh, okay. Okay. Huh. Kaya naman eh. Bayan. Can I visit your castle? Yeah. Once again. For Anne, for Papa, we have soft bite mini almond biscuit, and then we have our cheddar sharp cheddar cheese snack bag. That's going to Rancho Parkway. You know, 
You know, the only time I've, I've heard of Pismo Beach is... Cher, what are you doing? Daddy, I'm raising funds for the Pismo Beach disaster. Where's that from? You don't know, do you? This small beach pier is super gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite places in this trip, hands down. It's insane. We have the cutest hotel here in San Luis Obispo. This is our room. This is our room. It's really messy. Don't even think about looking at that. But if you look at everything outside, let's go. This is our room name. Aldui. This is the hallway. That goes all the way down. Here's the best part. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful library, like mini library. We made it. Finally, am I right? Am I right? It's about time. Mm -hmm. The sweet, sweet smell of literature. The sweet, sweet smell. Wow. Mom, you should buy that because you already touched it with your... It just came out today. She's so happy. I have to buy a book for the train because I left my book back in Hayward. So do I get... If we were villains, but this is available in the Philippines, so probably not this. So I don't know if I want to get Wool Gathering by Patty Smith because this is what the I recommended. They don't have devotion, so I don't know what to do. Beautiful writer, he's a poet who just like he knows things, he sees things beyond what this guy, what he sees. And so we felt self-conscious about him all the time, even though he also kind of wanted to be him. Right. And there was this one time where they went on a trip to Prague together and they were in this old church. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. And the guy's sitting in the church and he's just sitting there with his eyes closed, breathing deeply. And Carlo Vinausgard looks over at him and he's just like this, he's like this asshole. He's, he's having this profound experience in this church and I'm not having that. So he's having what, a, making, a main character moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so he's sitting there. <laughs> there's and, a lot of books in yeah, here. Yeah, I think there's actually six in the series. Oh. So yes, yeah, so we have one through five. Okay. They're wild. Um, they were an absolute literary sensation in Europe. They were not small. I've Europe, never they heard of them. Not nearly as famous it's, as they were in Europe. I think I'm getting this. Yeah, I, I love Thanks it. Thanks for, recom for recommending it. Of course. <laughs> I am. Let me show you one more thing then. Sure. If, if you haven't read that. This book is the book that I say everybody who is an aspiring poet should read this. Rilke. Yeah. And specifically this one. If you haven't read this before. I've never. Um, this I've is, heard about it though. This is a correspondence between him and a younger amateur poet at the beginning of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. And it's just him giving advice about what being a poet is like. And it's not really like... I'm going to critique your poems and I'm going to tell you what's good or what's bad. Mm -hmm. It's more about finding something key within yourself that develops the sense of poetic noticing, basically. Yeah, I would say it is accessible. Okay. It's, um, I, I, I love it. It's my favorite, like, he's one of my favorite poets ever. Okay. And the one that I like especially is uh, the Sonnets to Orpheus slash Duino Elegies. In my opinion, maybe the best book of poetry that anyone's written. Really? And, but this okay. book is, I think, the 
a great entry point to looking at him. And it's just, I think, one of those books, sort of like this, that gives you a real sense of how approaching poetry might work. Strong yeah. recommendation. I'm yeah. going to get both of these. Thank you very much. I didn't catch your name. I'm Noah. Thank What's you, Noah. Name? Sophia. Sophia, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, come by Have a good day. Time. Yes. Thank you.